This is Armageddon. Bill O'Reilly declares New York out of control in takedown of Governor Hocho and uh, Mayor Adams. New York is a hellhole. They became a sanctuary, it's not just city, a sanctuary state. And um, they're paying the price for it. Our American citizens are struggling. They continue to get fund these illegal illegal immigrants in their cities and state uh, and state as a whole. Um, so we're gonna talk a little bit about it. We're gonna talk about. Um, we're gonna play the clip with Bill O'Reilly. Um, but before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button, share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber, and hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon. That's where I talk about things that I can't talk about here. There's also a link to my Instagram and my X account, so follow me there as well. All right, so let's talk about this news now. This comes from uh, Media Mediaite from Zachary Lehman, he reports that Bill O'Reilly declared it's Armageddon in New York in a rant against New York's governor, Kathy Hochul, and New York City Mayor Eric Adams. In a bonus segment for his No Spin News, O'Reilly pointed to polls to two polls showing plenty of New Yorkers are as fed up with their leadership as he is. In a Siena a College poll released last month, Hochul has a favorability rating of 34% compared to an unfavorable rating of 54%. Wow, that is huge. O'Reilly argued New York being the highest tax state and infrastructure, quote, fail, falling apart is behind the opposition to Hochul's leadership. So let's just um let's just get to the to the clip here. Here we go. I've been uh, thinking about New York State and New York City. So Here's the latest polling. We got two titans in charge of our welfare here. Got the governor, Kathy Hochul, and we got the mayor, Eric Adams. Okay, And both of them are in trouble. What kind of trouble? Polling trouble. So here's a Siena College poll. This is Kathy Hochul. Favorable, 34 percent. Unfavorable, 54. In a Democratic state, that is right. a horrendous number. Right. Horrendous. Governor Hochul is deemed to be weak. New York City is out of control. She is doing nothing to improve the situation. Mm. New York State is the highest tax state in the union. The infrastructure is falling apart. That's why she has a 34% approval rating. Eric Adams, this is a Marist College poll. Approve of the job he is doing, 25%. Disapprove, 74%. That is just crazy, crazy numbers. How do you have a 74% disapproval rating? Wow, wow, wow. It's, 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 it's crazy. It's, it's crazy. Um, but this is what happens. You, you you vote for this. This is what you voted for. And now New York is falling apart. It's crumbling. Crime is super duper high, and they're ignoring it. I'm not even really reporting the numbers. Um, stuff is expensive. They're taxing you into oblivion, and they continue to spend money on illegal immigrants. Why would anyone in their right mind would want to uh, uh, um, live in New York, let alone visit New York? Like, I, I'm not gonna visit that 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 uh in New York City until they um until they clean that place up. And I really want to visit. I really want to take the family out there and do like a Christmas thing. Um, you know, have that whole experience. But I don't want. I'm I'm afraid to take my family out there because of crime and and everything. Why would anyone want to bring their family there for vacation or visit? It's just crazy to me. This is Armageddon. So the two most powerful politicians, as I said, have lost credibility with the people. But that does not mean that they or their party is going to be repudiated the next time around right. because there are people who will vote for failure. They vote blue no matter who, and no matter how bad they continue to ruin their cities, their towns, their states, they will continue to vote for these people. I, I don't know why. I, I don't. I don't get it. Me personally, I wouldn't get it. 
Um, but isn't that what Einstein said the definition of insanity is? Doing the same thing over and over again, expecting um, a different result. So I think a lot of these people are, <laughs> are insane to be doing this. Why would you vote for your own demise? Okay. One name, Bill de Blasio. Two terms, got reelected. That's true. The worst mayor in the city's history, and it's not even close, was reelected. Now, yeah. Adams is suffering because of de Blasio, because de Blasio wrecked the infrastructure of New York, particularly yeah. the criminal justice system. True. Adams came in, and everybody hoped that he might improve the situation. Forget but about he has not improved it at all. Quality of life in New York City is worse than when he came in. Again, I give him a little bit of a pass. It's like Herbert Hoover. In 1929, he comes in to president, and then six months later, the Depression hits. And Hoover's wiped out his whole legacy because he can't deal with it. He doesn't know how to deal with it. But the Depression wasn't his fault. All right? He didn't know it was coming, but bang, he's wiped out because of it. Adams kind of knew he had to know what a disaster de Blasio was. Mm -hmm. But somehow Adams thought he could improve it, but he hasn't. Incompetence. And if you disagree with me, I want to hear from you. Bill at BillOReilly.com. Tell me where Eric Adams has improved things for us. All right. Now, Cuomo, Andrew Cuomo gets booted. Um, and, you know, it was a largely political attack on him, even though I don't think he did a great job, particularly he with did. the COVID nursing homes and the yeah. no bail thing was insane. He gets booted and... The state is not quite in the condition the city is, but Hogel comes in, and what has she improved? Nothing. Again, give me one thing in your life. You live here. You're listening to me on WABC. I know people out of state are listening too, but if you are a New Yorker, tell me one thing. I just want one <laughs> that either Hogel or Adams have done to improve your life. I would love to know that. One. Too. I bet you can't, because I can't, and I'm pretty aware of my circumstance here in New York State. I can't think of one thing that either of them have done that has made my life or my family's life better. Now, that's crazy, because look at the baseline where they started. They started so low that you would think that they could have come up with something. Mm-hmm that would have improved what de Blasio and Cuomo left. But as John Belushi once said, no! And there it is. I'm a simple man. That's simple analysis. Bill at BillOReilly.com if you disagree. And uh, I, I would want to know, too, if for y'all New Yorkers out there, have they done anything to actually better New York? Please let me know. Leave your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe, and check out jjthepsychotherapist.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace.